Warning, this might make you hungry. Welcome back again to another cooking video of mine. In this one, I did an oven roast pork. And looking from this, I can tell that you want to stick around to see how I made this meal. This is about five pounds of pork. I had it in the freezer for about a day, but I started the defrosting it from morning. Washed it off. Since I didn't want the pork to spend the whole day in the oven, I did the economical thing, which is to pressure it in the pressure cooker. First off, to get it soft and tender, and to let the season get more infused into the meat. First off, I had some thyme, then chopped up some ginger. Um, I was looking, but it seemed like I ran out of pimento leaves, but I had cinnamon leaves instead, which can be a good substitute. Some salt, a little browning, and a splash of white rum. Yes, you heard right. Then I put the pressure cooker lid on the pressure cooker to let the, the meat pressure for about 10 minutes. So since I'm gonna use the oven, I always want to make sure that uh, I'm doing something else while the oven is on, which I decided to bake a cake. A chocolate cake that I did from scratch. I'm joking. It's a plain cake, but I just put some cocoa powder in it. And I added um, additives of my interest like uh, pumpkin seed, almond, um, a little peanut and instead of water I use wine also some raisins which I blended out in the wine and the seeds I actually blended them to a powder form and mixed it into the dry powder or the dry mix I should say before adding the eggs and everything else then I mixed my cake. Poured out the chocolate cake mix into the cake pans, which were in the oven, being basted with butter. Since I had to wait for the pressure cooker to cool down, and then for the meat to cool, so I could put on a very special sauce on it before going in the oven, I just decided to place the cake in there and let them bake. After opening the pressure cooker, I took off the meat and let it drain for a while. And then I made my sauce, which includes craft original barbecue sauce, some cayenne pepper, lots of honey, and a spoon of jerk sauce. After combining the ingredients, of the sauce I then applied it to the pork and massaged it in. The sauce that was left back I had some of this syrup it's sorrel grape believe me you need to taste the syrup I had it to the rest of the sauce and also with some of the broth that was left back from pressuring the pork to make the gravy the pan that I'm going to roast the pork in, I wanted to use some pimento leaves, but I didn't have any at that time. But I had a lot of cinnamon leaves, which can definitely substitute. So I baste the pan with all them cinnamon leaves. By this time, the cakes were done. So as I took all the cakes out of the oven, I placed the pork in there. I found some pimento powder and dried crushed peppers, which I sprinkled on the pork before placing in the oven. It was time to taste the cake that I made. It was good. Just needed a little moisture, which I sprinkled some wine over it and that made it perfect. I had this big tin of vegetable with lima beans, carrot, potatoes, corn, 
and I was wondering what to do with it and then I got the idea to make a one pot quinoa but I was going to add some cabbage and alaloo. So I had the coconut milk boiling on the stove, add the quinoa, um, then I let it cook down, add the vegetables from out of the tin, let it cook a little bit more, then I place the cabbage and the kalanoo on the top of it so that it gets steamed before starting to mix it in. So after the steam began to penetrate the cabbage and the color low, I began to mix it in, in the quinoa with the vegetable. And then I had a two spoon of butter. You know, vegetables always stay good with butter. While letting the butter melt in the one pot quinoa, before giving it one more stir of the fork, I then turn my attention to making a garden salad, you know, with the usual culprits. You have a lettuce, a cucumber, my bell pepper, onion, and tomato. After that, I was ready to serve. Drizzled my sauce on it and did my plating. And here is the final result. It's my overall spork with my one pot vegetable quinoa and a garden salad thank you for watching until next time peace and love